Hi, so I've got a Fender 64 Vibroverb custom reissue behind me. So that's got the 64 blackface circuit in it, but it was reissued in 2003 and the reissue has two switches in the back, which allows you to modify it to Stevie Ray Vaughan's spec. The first switch disables the normal channel, disables the tremolo circuit, gives you more gain and less bass on the vibrato channel. Uh, the second switch allows you to switch between a valve rectifier and a silicon diode rectifier. Now, the rectifier is in the power supply and it converts AC to DC. And th the theory goes that a valve rectifier is a bit slower to respond than a uh, solid state rectifier. So you get a bit more of a compressed feel, a bit more of a saggy feel. Now I've n personally not noticed that difference when I was just playing the amp uh, at normal gigging volumes. Uh, so it could have been that I just wasn't playing it loud enough f to hear the difference. Um, or it could have been that my guitar just, I was playing using a Strat, maybe the Strat just doesn't have enough bass to really tax the power supply. Who knows, but, but maybe it's a measurable difference, you know, maybe maybe if we recorded it we could analyze the waveform and see a difference there so that's what we're going to do in this video um, i'm going to record a piece directly into my computer and then i'm going to reamp it through uh, the two different settings on the vibroverb uh, two different rectifier settings and we can analyze the waveform and look at the rms so the the average power of the waveform we can look at the difference between the peak values and the average power. That's called the crest factor. So that gives you an indication of the dynamic range in the, in the waveform. Let's see if there's a difference there. And I'm going to also, this time I'm going to have it really cranked up to maximum clean power. And that's ridiculously loud. And I'm going to be, have to wear earplugs for that. Now I also have the VOD50 behind me, which has a compressor in the circuit. So I'm going to run that amp at maximum clean power as well, which will engage the compressor and we should see a lower crest factor there compared to the vibroverb. So it seems like the numbers confirm what I felt when I played this amplifier and the, and the two rectifiers. Um, the RMS values are roughly the same and the crest factors are roughly the same. It was 0.1 dB higher on the solid state rectifier. Uh, by contrast, the VOD50 has a noticeably lower crest factor when it's turned up all the way. When you turn the volume down on the VOD50, the crest factor is equivalent to, uh, to what this and puts out um, at those high volumes. So yeah, I don't know if you could hear a difference. When I stacked the two waveforms up on top of each other and zoomed in, I couldn't see any difference at all between the two rectifiers 
on this amplifier. So I, I don't know if you could hear something. If you can, let me know in the comments below. If you have any experience with this amp and you can actually feel the difference between the two rectifier states, then I'm interested to hear that as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, check me out on Instagram at Rajani Amps. Check me out online at rajaniamps.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I hope to see you next time.